Different views of the line. Y is minus 4 nines x plus 2. If I multiply this by 9, and this and this, I will end up with this. This becomes 9y multiplied by 9's cancel, gives me this, times 9 is 18. Let's follow it over here. Okay, this is still the same line. So what I've done, I transpose the 4x and put it over here, left the 9y there, and left the 18 where it is. This is the same as this. Now I take this and I go up here, and now I'm looking at the slope. It comes from here, this is m, and this is the b. Okay, so that takes care of the line minus 4 ninths x plus 2. Now, here's the next one. So if I go this way, I see m is 3 elevenths, that goes there, and b is 4. Okay, let's go this way now. Get rid of the fraction, times 11, times 11, times 11. Okay, now from here, I take it over here, and I want the 3x to be positive, so I bring the 11y and move it over here. And the 44, I don't want it with the x, I move it to the other side, it can minus 44. Okay, this could be confusing because I actually brought it to the right and then I rotated it just like you would a door. It doesn't change, okay? I brought it over here, it makes it an 11, so that stays like that. Brought this over here, minus 44, rotated the whole thing, just like rotating a door. Doesn't change a thing. Okay, now let's go down to the bottom and sketch it. Okay, over here, the green one, it goes through four. This will be zero, four, that's B, okay? And the slope is a rise of three and a run of 11. One, two, three, four, four, way over here somewhere. It's gonna look like that. Okay, well, let's do the other one over here. Uh, we'll go over here, it goes through two, zero, two. A rise of four, one, two, three, four, and a run of nine, one, two, three, four, four, nine. Bingo, there's your line.